I'm here with Nicole Ray and Erin at Erin Hills Acres, and she's hosting another one of her All Woman Country events. Tell me, how did this series come about? So I started the All Woman Music Series during COVID, and it was right before things got shut down that I was actually initially trying to come up with this show idea, and it was mainly because I was just frustrated as a woman in the industry seeing so many lineups and you know, festival headliners being all males, and I just wanted a community for women. And so, you know, I thought if nobody's inviting me to be on the show, then I'll just make my own. <laughs> and you do this on top of all the singing and music videos and everything that you do for yourself too. Sometimes I wonder why I take on so much, but honestly, I, I truly love being busy rather than bored. <laughs> and we're the perfect place today because it's got tons of lavender, it's lavender fields here and purple couch. And Nicole, if you know her, she's uh, got her theme is purple. So what is it about purple that stands out to you? You know what, it's funny, I get asked this a lot and it's because growing up, my favorite color was always black. And I mean, as you can tell, I'm always wearing a lot of black. And that always didn't count, like when you were a kid, it was like, black's not a real color. You can pick a favorite color, exactly. right? So purple was like the closest without like being too much of a color for me. And honestly, once I started incorporating it more into my brand, I just sort of fell in love with doing it more and more. Yeah, I did the eyeshadow today just for you. I know, I noticed that. <laughs> Big news, new single Dirty just came out today. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, tell us about that for those that haven't listened to it yet. So this is a tune that I wrote with the writer out of Nashville, who's a Canadian, uh, Ryan Sorstad, and also the uh, producer of the track, Douglas Romano. And we just really wanted to write something fun, something outside the box. For me, I've been in the industry a long time, and, and sometimes I feel like I've done a lot of rule following and I kind of just want to, I'm just at this point where I just want to do what I want to do and express myself and, and have fun and so really I mean it's a song about sex so <laughs> okay. enjoy. I noticed too you made a, a post about inviting people to be in a music video. Yes, yes, which we're actually filming here at Erin Hill Acres on July 18th. So if anyone wants to come be in it, we need some extras. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to get a little muddy and a little dirty, but it should be a good time. Sounds fun. <laughs> and, and lastly, where else can everybody catch you this summer? So it's going to be a really busy summer. I got lots ahead. Um, I have my own festival that I started a couple of years ago, also to support women in country music, which is called Harmonia Fest, which is happening on August 19th at Brooks Farms. So you can get your tickets for that now and uh, check my website because I got lots of other August dates as well and I hope to see you there. Alrighty, well thanks so much for hanging out and have a great show. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I'm back with Mackenzie Lee Meyer here at Erin Hills Acres Farm and we're on the purple couch. She's been pretty busy lately. First of all, I want to congratulate you again on your CMA Ontario Award. She's oh. Roots Artist of the Year. Thank you, I appreciate that. Real hard worker. Where did you put the award? You know what, I have like a fake fireplace and it's kind of just chilling on there and I'm like, you know what, like, it's my first award ever so I'm going to put it on prominent display for a little bit and uh, yeah, I kind of soak it in. I'd say look at it every day but you've been gone. I have been gone. I am doing a lot of playing with Robin Adelini. I play rhythm guitar and piano and sing backups for her so I've been kind of playing with them a bit so it's been a busy summer but no complaints. Yeah. <laughs> Part of performing with her included going on tour with Shania. It did. That was a whirlwind experience that I kind of found out about in April for me. So no time to like mentally prepare. It was a fun run and a massive <laughs> step up from any of the shows that I've ever kind of done. <laughs> Do you have any fun stories? Uh, it was one of those runs that nothing kind of crazy happened. Like there was no big scary moments where, ah, I guess there was one. So <laughs> on our first day I I don't know if anyone's who's listening has operated in ears before but they kind of come in your ears and like out your back and I got mine caught on my guitar as I was switching to piano for a song that just I play piano on and Robin sings and it's very wow. intimate it's been stripped down and my ears ripped out and if you've not used in ears before all your cues and your click is on your ears so you're like waiting to come in and I was totally didn't have anything on me, so I was like, didn't know any of the cues. And she was just speaking, and it was silent because I missed. I was waiting to like get my stuff together, and I'm like, I can't hear anything. And I got it in right before it was like piano and one, two, three, four, and I just plugged my ears in just enough to get my cue. Otherwise, it would have been silent. Oh my <laughs> and so that was that was a little bit like, ah! 
<laughs> to get to get together, but that was it only happened one time, and I guess I still came in on time, so all is well that ends well. But I know you and Robin both share a love for thrift shopping. Did you get the chance? Yeah, no, I don't. You know what? It's it's too bad. We had a day off in Halifax. Robin does kind of spend her day off doing radio stuff. The band and us kind of. I've never been out that way, so we all kind of put tourists there a little. Well, going from those big arenas to here at farm in a small town. <laughs> how is that? Hey, I mean, every gig is an awesome gig, in my humble opinion. You know, this is like, if we are talking country music, this is a country music gig right now. This barn, I don't, I'm sure you guys can kind of see it in the background, is beautiful. We're playing a lovely summer night outside. Absolutely. And yeah. All gigs are great. <laughs> I've commented before on the amount of performances you do. I honestly can't think of anybody that performs as much as you do. <laughs> do you have time and when do you think about putting something new out? Ooh, I mean, <laughs> time has definitely felt like a luxury to me recently. I've definitely been so busy and good busy, you know, doing stuff that I love and I get to play with people I love and sing songs that I love. But you're right, I have kind of suffered because I haven't been able to kind of get back in the studio like a bunch of other artists have who are not working as much. And that I'm working on a little bit right now. I've got a bit of downtime right now. I'm finally going in to do some recording for my next single, which is nice. Had to get pushed back a little, but I promise music is coming out. It should be soon. We're gonna use the word soon on that because we're recording, but I wanna make sure it's perfect. Do you have like a lot of notes and ideas on your phone? Yes, <laughs> my phone, like my phone is consistently on full. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always like deleting stuff on it and I feel like part of that reason is because I'm like have like half finished like voice. I was just going like oh, like <laughs> into like song ideas and they eventually become stuff which yeah. is cool. And some of them are just taking up space on my phone. <laughs> awesome. Well looking forward to what you've got coming up up your sleeve and obviously your career is taking off very quickly. Feels like it. Yeah. This year for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> and so I'm so excited to hear you perform out there and thanks for stopping by and chatting. I'm here with Angela Saini at Aaron Hills Acres Farm. Going to be doing a performance today. So for those of my listeners, because it sounds a little bit different, can you share with them your sound is? Which, how would you describe it? I would say folk pop Americana. That's sort of what I get a lot. Or alt country is another one. Pop country. You tell me. Yeah. Tell you. Well, yeah. I know a lot of your songs are pretty positive. Yes. That's important to me. I really appreciate empowering songs, positive vibes, upbeat. You'll hear that kind of as, as a compliment. Yeah. Do you write a lot of your own songs? I do. Yeah, I do some co-writing, but I really love a great just penning my own tune. How do you not fall into the sad, sorrow, mm. you know, slump that a lot of people do? You know, <laughs> especially in the past couple of years. Yeah. The funny thing is, a lot of the songs I write, I actually write when I'm in a hard place or when I'm sad and depressed, and then somehow I think that's part of my own way of like it's my own alchemy in some ways. Like a song of mine called "Living on the Bright Side." I was like having like serious. My tour van died. It was an ice storm, and then that song came out. Tell us about your song, Say. Well, it's my new single. It just came out last Friday, and it's a song about being honest and being your whole, your whole true self without being afraid of what other people are going to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and have you had your unique heritage play a role into your music at all? Yeah, well, not as of late. I am half Indian, so my dad's from Delhi. Saini is a Punjabi last name. And uh, I will be doing a recording of the guy from Mantra soon, so I'm looking forward to that. But I'm generally like more of a Western girl, but I'm definitely looking forward to putting these things west. Your mom's from Austria. Austria. Yeah. What a unique mix. Yeah. You have, like such great like European and Indian. Yeah, a little bit of little bit of everything. <laughs> Embrace it all. Yeah. Yeah. I also read here that you were inspired as a teen by Amanda Marshall. Mm -hmm. Which is really cool. So I'm from Calgary originally. Okay. I saw her at the Calgary Stampede. And I had an epiphany. I'd always been singing and I was always, you know, musical. And I saw that show and I was like, I told anyone who would listen, this is what I'm gonna do with my life. I wanna make people feel how I feel watching her on that stage. And then it's so great because she's out back now with a new album and it's like full circle. It's kind of funny. But yeah, I loved her music growing up. Did you get the chance to see her at Maxi Hope? No, but I have seen her live, but I did really wish I would have gone to that show. And pretty much everyone else was at that. I know. So, yeah. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. We're reading. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with Thanks me. Thanks for having have me. an awesome performance. We will. Okay, I'm here with Jessica Sevier at Erin Hills Acres Farms, and she's going to be doing a performance for All Women Country that Nicole Ray's hosting. Not a lot of accomplishments.
moments that I want to share with my audience. Thank you. Congratulations on Confetti reaching number one on Canadian indie country radio charts. Thank you. See You There charted on Canadian radio as the third most downloaded song on its first day. You were named top seven to watch from Canadian Music Week. And you had your national debut at Whiskey Jam, which is, looks like such a fun venue. I yes. follow along to all of their posts. And for my audience that isn't aware, that is a really big deal. Yeah, <laughs> no, Whiskey Jam was so, so super fun. I'm wearing the hat that I got there. I wear it every day. It's just like such a good memory. It was cool to be invited to go do that. And then the show was incredible. Like it was packed and it was just so fun to be in Nashville and, and do that. Awesome. I also have here that you once competed on a TV show called The Shot Remastered. What was that experience like? Yeah, no, that was super cool. It was just like a songwriting competition kind of thing. And it was during COVID. So it was all online and we would like compete with different challenges. It was super fun. Uh, I got to meet some amazing writers and some of the writers from that pro uh, competition, I guess, got to go to a writing retreat and we all got to write together, hang out and, and collaborate on music, which was super fun. That's awesome. Your latest single, Legends of Summer, is now out. How would you describe that? I guess very nostalgic, kind of like summer romance, reminiscing on summers that you had when you were young and falling in love and all that sort of stuff. It's very 70s rocky kind of funky, groovy kind of inspiration from like Eagles and that sort of stuff. So it's a super cool way to kind of bring myself into the country music that I make. Mm -hmm. I watched the video and that looks really cool. Um, you've got three main scenes, one in a garage with a motorcycle, one you're sitting on the floor in a bright room, and another scene, the vibe is like all moody and dark and you look almost like doll-like in it. Yeah. Can you explain the symbolism in that? Yeah, I think it was just something that was really, really cool that I had the ideas of, like when we were in the house, we rented this house to sort of look like vintage in 70s and, and, and like 80s. The imagery of the house was kind of like reminiscing on past times, like past summers, past relationships, and it's kind of all, I guess, flashbacky would be the kind of words, like you're looking back on things, and then that motorcycle scene is kind of like depicting the relationship of, of past romance, kind of that intense feeling you get. Uh, when you fall in love and, and now those were kind of the three ways i was trying to show off the song it was really fun to watch Thank and you. it was really fun to film too. oh it was so fun <laughs> getting on the motorcycle was really fun and, and the house was just so cool to see and be in that it was yeah it was a great time definitely well i'm looking forward to your performance thank you have so a great much. one thanks so much for hanging out and chatting with me thank you so much hey guys i'm here on the purple couch at aaron hills acre farm with michaela and your style is a little bit different than what my audience is used to i would love for you to how you'd say it is for yourself yeah, so it's not similar at all. I have two different sides to me, I think, musically. And one of those sides is like very singer songwriter, like kind of folky, indie pop ish. And then the other side of that is EDM, which those are very different. And it's kind of funny. I got into EDM because someone found one of my like piano ballad singer songwriter songs on SoundCloud. And they were from a label in Brazil. And they were like, oh, are you doing anything with this song? And I was like, no, not really. Like, I just like put it on SoundCloud, whatever, and they were like, okay, cool, can we do something with it? And I was like, maybe. Are you legit? <laughs> yeah, I was like, this seems a little weird, mm -hmm. but go for it. Like, And then they sent it back to me, and it was awesome, and it was really, really cool. So I was like, okay, yeah, put it out. Little do I know, EDM is like a huge genre in Brazil. So it really, really picked up. And then I, I really wanted to go go to a few raves there. I've never been to a rave in my life. And then COVID hit. So I, I haven't made it down to Brazil quite yet. But it's it's interesting because when you go and you check out my Spotify, some of it is so like EDM and some of it is very singer-songwriter. And you posted a teaser on Monday that you were shooting something. Yes. Can you give us a little bit of a teaser? Yeah. Okay. So it's actually funny because that label in Brazil, they wanted to kind of branch out from EDM and kind of go into like the indie pop world a little bit more and I've been writing a lot lately so I, I sent them some of my songs and they were like oh let's just let's put this one out and I was like okay but no changes like you can't add like a like, some cat, like you can't do anything to it and they were like no we know like let's put this out as a pop release and I was like okay so we're trying it out I have a new song coming out on the 21st called Better Habits and I'm very excited. Thanks for watching Alexis Country Party on the Purple Couch at Erin Hill Acres. There ain't no way to keep it clean. We're getting sideways on everything.